What's up guys, Boris here, and welcome back to another One Piece Theory of the Day. Now, uh, today we're going to talk about probably the most mysterious man in, in the One Piece verse, and definitely one of the most important ones, and that is Gold D. Roger. Now, in the last episode we talked about the Will of D and how it could potentially be inspired by the legend of Davy Jones, and that's why today I want to cover probably the most important D in the history of One Piece that we've known so far, and again, like I said, it's Gold D. Roger. Now, Roger, we really haven't learned too much about him. We've gotten a few flashbacks here and there, and every time there is a flashback, you you bet that Oda is putting in a lot of uh, mystery, mysterious foreshadowing in there for us to guess on the future of the series. And for the most part, whenever we see him, we do learn something very important about either the ancient weapons, the Pony Glyphs, or the Void Century, or even the Will of D. So there is something uh, that we see every time that or that we learn every time we see him. That's why when we look at the flashback where him and Rayleigh first met uh, for the first time, I guess, uh, a lot of people have sort of become really big fans of one specific line that has become notorious among One Piece fans. Now, when Goldie Roger first walks up to Rayleigh, he says, well, I'm Roger. This meeting must be fate, Rayleigh. What do you say to turning the world upside down with me? And so this is a line, like I said, that a lot of fans have latched on to and a lot of people have made a lot of videos speculating as to what this line can mean because everyone does believe that this is an important line. Now, of course, turning the world upside down uh, does have a meaning in real life and that just means sort of, like I said, I have talked about a lot in one piece of the reversal of roles, sort of changing all the previous conceptions of reality that people have and sort of just breaking them. So uh, that, there's always a possibility that that's what he means. But like I said, every single time that Goldie Roger is mentioned in in, uh, in One Piece, there's always a big revelation. And a lot of people seem to think that there might be something more to this line than meets the eye at first glance. So what can that possibly mean, turning the world upside down? Um, well, as I said, the Will of D, I believe, is based on the legend of Davy Jones. I mean, we've had the idea of the Devil of the Sea, which is Davy Jones and the Devil Fruit since Chapter 1, and the Will of D since Chapter 1. And what happens at Davy Jones' locker, for those of you guys who are not familiar with the legend? Well, Davy Jones' locker is just a legend about what happens to anything that ends up sinking to the bottom of the sea. Uh, whether it's a sailor or whether it's anything that really falls down there, they end up in Davy Jones' locker, which is at the very bottom of the world. So, in turning the world upside down, that which is on top goes to the bottom, and that which is on the bottom goes to the top. So you guys can sort of see what I'm getting at. So this can mean that the Will of D, which eventually was taken up by Goldie Roger and renamed Roger's Will, uh, what this could mean is that the Will of D was to liberate those at the very bottom, the oppressed, uh, who were at Davy Jones' locker. And this could have been, potentially been the ancient civilization, and their island could have sunk to the bottom of the sea, just like the Legend of Atlantis. And then those at the top would be the Celestial Dragons, the people who are the oppressors and make them back down to earth as uh, you know because they consider themselves uh, above earthling and this would actually go hand in hand with what Corazon said during the flashback in which he told Law that the D's are the natural enemies of God uh, essentially being the natural enemies of the celestial dragons as they like I said they see themselves as gods so that'll do it for today's theory again I do think that that line said by Goldie Roger in which he's going to turn the world upside down is both figurative and literal. So I believe that oh, it's a clue that Oda has left there for us to sort of speculate on. And I'll just give you guys my take on it. Let me know what you guys think down below. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another One Piece theory. Until next time, thanks for watching.